Hi, Peterson Toscano here. I've been thinking about my very first memory, four years old. My parents and my Uncle Bobby had a boat, a cabin cruiser, that they used on weekends up and down the Hudson River. There was a sleeping quarters downstairs, and to me as a child, the whole boat, boat seemed huge, but it really wasn't that big. But going down to the downstairs was a door, and one day I entered the boat, and my Uncle Bobby had purchased new curtains for this door. They were white lace curtains over the little window, fluttering in the breeze. To my four-year-old mind, they looked like the most beautiful things I had ever seen in my entire life. And I thought, there they are, shimmering in the sun. They must feel so soft, so mesmerized. I walked as if in a trance towards this window, towards this curtain, and I reached out my hand just as Uncle Bobby, don't put your dirty hands on those curtains, I just got them. And in my mind, I was shocked, N not because he slapped my hand and yelled at me, but because he had the audacity to believe that I would put dirty hands on those beautiful curtains. That was the first indication that I was different from many of the other boys around me. Sure, I like playing cowboys and Indians and Planet of the Apes, but I also like my sister's Easy Bake Oven and soft, beautiful fabrics. I was perceived very much as a sissy growing up, um, and I didn't like that. I wanted to be normal gender normative, like the other boys. And so I stuffed down that sissy part of me. Turns out I was perceived as a sissy even before I was called a fag. And years later, when I finally came to my senses, I stepped out of the closet. A gay man, woohoo! But that sissy boy part of me that I had beaten the crap out of for so many years, he was back in the closet, bound and gagged. And it took me much time and energy and help to go back in the closet to liberate that sissy so that I would not just come out me oh, as a gay man, but me as a sissy.